Yes, you read the title of this video right. Both Silent Hill movies are not good. Yes, even the first one. I see so much praise for this movie by fans, like, no, it's not that good. But without further ado, let's get into this video, starting with the first Silent Hill movie. Now, I do have one thing I like about this movie, and that is that this actually looks like Silent Hill. They did a great job doing the source material. They really nailed the set here. Unfortunately, the rest of the movie is not this good. Literally, the only reason they go to Silent Hill in this movie is because Cheryl, or in this movie, Sharon for some reason, keeps on sleepwalking and screaming Silent Hill. So then they're like, Okay, let's go to the spooky town that everyone calls a ghost town. I mean, it's totally safe for our kid. <laughs> they literally start driving to Silent Hill six minutes into the movie. And this movie is two hours long. That's terrible pacing. And whatever. At least the characters must be good. Like, Silent Hill games are known for having really, really great characters. So, a movie adaptation must have really good characters. <sighs> okay, so Sharon, Sharon's mom, and Alessa, they're, they're fine. They're, they're just fine, honestly. But Harry is literally an idiot. He just decides not to go with them to Silent Hill for some reason. He literally just doesn't go, which means that he has no relevance to the plot whatsoever. They literally don't explain why he doesn't go with them. He just straight up doesn't. So why is he in this movie in the first place? If he has no purpose here, why is he here? Yes, I realize that Christopher is his name in this movie. But this movie really doesn't know any of the names of the characters, so leave me alone. Now the worst character in this movie has got to be Sybil Bennett. She literally just shows up, comes to the conclusion that Sharon is being abducted. And then she chases Sharon's mom's car. Yes, I forgot Sharon's mom's name. And then she ends up in Silent Hill. And when Sharon is lost, literally she attempts to arrest her. So her death in the end of the movie is literally her fault because she brought herself into this mess. This causes me to not care about her at all because she was just so unlikable. In conclusion, the first Silent Hill movie, it's not a terrible movie, but it's certainly not a good movie. It's pretty bad. The plot just feels like a ripoff of the first game, honestly. It doesn't really feel original. And instead of using the town of Silent Hill to scare you, they explain it. They just spend the whole movie just explaining it. And I don't understand why they needed to do this, because the only people who will care about this movie are Silent Hill fans. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. Alright, we are now at Silent Hill Revelation. Oh boy. This is one of those rare movies that I literally have nothing good to say about. That is right. I literally hate this movie so much that I have nothing good to say about it. Now, instead of this movie ripping off the second game, since it's the second movie, you know, that'll make sense. It rips off the third game. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna skip right over the second game and just go right to the third game. Now I'm gonna show you one clip from this movie. And you just gotta trust me that the rest of this movie is literally this bad. Also, slight gore warning in this scene. It's not too bad, but it, it could gross you out if you get grossed out like really easily. So I recommend skipping to this time right here if you get grossed out easily.
this movie was released in 2012. Like, like, are you kidding me? Like, the first movie came out in 2006, and it at least had some production value behind it. Uh, well, somewhat, but like, it looked way better than this movie that came out six years after. This movie is so bad that when something quote-unquote scary happened in the movie, I laughed my head off. In fact, I'll just show you a compilation of quote-unquote scary things in this movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so terrible. Alright, I think you get the point. Th this movie is just unintentionally funny. <laughs> Literally the only reason Heather goes to Silent Hill in this movie is because she finds writing on the wall telling her to. Yeah, you know, as we all do. Ow. 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 Oh well, at least the characters must be- Alright, I- I can't even pretend. These characters literally suck. Okay, so Heather is a pretty well-developed character, but I think Team Silent, you know, kinda did that work for them, so... Harry slash Christopher has more relevance to the plot this time, so... Improvement, I guess? There's this guy named Vincent, and, um... He doesn't really have any character traits. He- he's just kinda there. Also, he can't decide what accent he has. Just listen. We can't go any further. Why can't you just trust me? I don't think I've ever seen an actor care that less about their character. Also, Pyramid Head's here. He was in the last movie, but I'm only gonna talk about him in this movie solely because he's in this really, really poorly edited fight scene. just looks like a Power Rangers fight scene. Come to think of it, this whole movie is just edited like a Power Rangers episode. This whole movie just kind of feels rushed. And guess what? It is rushed. There are a lot of parts that were just cut from the movie. And if they weren't cut from the movie, it would actually make the movie feel more complete. So yeah, in conclusion, as you already read in the title, both Silent Hill movies are bad. So, I hope you enjoyed my first video game movie review. Um, if you want me to review another, comment it down below, I guess. Um, see you guys. Uh, I, it took me way too long to make this video and I'm kind of getting tired of it, so see ya.